In this video, we will show how to use value blanking in TechPlot for Barracuda. Value blanking is a feature of TechPlot that allows users to isolate and analyze subsets of visualization data. One common application of blanking is isolating spatial subsets of our project geometry. To create a new value blanking constraint, navigate to the plot menu, scroll down to blanking, and select value blanking. We begin by toggling the include value blanking option at the top of the window. As you can see, we are allotted up to eight constraints, which can then be individually toggled on and off by selecting the active option above the constraint definition. We note that the point 0, 0, 0 refers to the very bottom of our vessel at the center of the cylinder. In this example, we will show how to slice our geometry in half parallel to the XZ plane. Therefore, we will would, we would like to blank when the variable x is less than or equal to a constant value of 0. In these options, we can select any number of variables that were pre-selected as visualization data output or even user-defined variables within TechPlot itself. Next, we can choose one of our various comparison operators. Finally, we can choose whether or not to compare to a constant value or to another variable. Once we are satisfied with our definition, we toggle the constraint active. And note that we have achieved our desired result. In addition to looking at spatial subsets, value blanking can also be used on cell-based and particle-based data. For more information on value blanking cell-based data, please refer to our video on ISO volumes. To create a value banking constraint based on particle data, the procedure is largely similar. We yet again navigate to the blanking window, and this time select constraint 2. Suppose we are interested in only looking at the largest particles of our system. In the variable menu, we will scroll and select particle radius. Then we will want to value blank all values that are less than a constant value of 240. Again, once we are satisfied with our definition, we toggle the constraint active. One thing that we can notice when value blanking particle data is that often the particles can be very difficult to see. A helpful tip in value blanking particle data then is to alter the presentation of scatter uh, plot data. To do so, Let's navigate to the Zone Style dialog in the Plot sidebar. Then, we navigate to the Scatter tab. In the row for Particles, in the column for Symbol Shape, right-click the cell and change from Point to Sphere. Then, in the column for Scatter Size, right-click the cell and choose a larger value. Let's try 0.5. As you can see, the largest particles that have been isolated are now much easier to observe. This concludes our video on value blanking in TechPlot for Barracuda.